Hello, this is Alex at Centaurus Computers, and today I'm gonna show you really quick how to install a Ryzen processor. It's an AM4 socket. Uh, it's X370 motherboard or B350, A320, it doesn't matter, that socket stays the same. Uh, so basically, this is what you're gonna see when you will open your motherboard and put it in front of you. Make sure you notice this little triangle in the corner here. It's right in this corner. And that should match a golden triangle on your processor. First, what we're gonna do is we will lift up this lever like this. That way we'll be able to install processor in there. Otherwise, uh, it will just not fit. Now, we've got our processor here. It's uh, Ryzen AM4, uh, Ryzen 5 1400 processor. So let's see. Let's get the processor out of the box. Here is that little golden triangle. And that matches one on the motherboard. You will not be able to fit it in any other way. So make sure you insert it like this. You just basically put it on top of the socket and it's sliding. You don't have to force it in, you don't have to like push it or wiggle or anything, otherwise you're gonna damage all the pins on the bottom of the processor. And then uh, you will void your warranty and AMD is not gonna just replace it because it's gonna be a physical damage. So this is all you gotta do. Just make sure it sits there tightly don't move it, don't do anything, and then lower that little lever here. This is it. Your processor is in place. It's that easy. Uh, nothing, nothing really complicated here. Just make sure you match the triangle. You don't touch pins under the processor, and you will be fine. After that, you want to install the cooler. As you can see, the thermal paste is already pre-applied on the bottom if you take it out of the box. So it's a stock cooler from Ryzen uh, 1400 processor. Uh, if there is no thermal paste or uh, you know, if you reuse that cooler from another uh, build, you can always put a little bit of thermal paste uh, and you need just a little bit, like a little more than maybe rice grain and you don't have to spread it, just put it in the middle as long as you uh, install your CPU cooler correctly, it will spread out evenly without any problems. As you can see, you cannot install that stock cooler right now because we first have to remove this one, two, three, four screws. And once you do that, you remove these two plastic pieces and basically use these screws to attach your cooler to this back plate on the back of your motherboard. So, this is what you actually do. You remove these four screws here. Then you remove this bracket. As you can see, there are still two pegs here. One and two that will be used for new cooler installation. Then we do the same on the other side. You can keep these screws and these two little plastic brackets because if you ever need to return your motherboard for repairs or anything like this, they may actually request to have them in place because otherwise it's not gonna be like factory condition. So there is a back plate on the on the back of that motherboard. As you can see. If you lift your motherboard right now, nothing holds uh, that back plate, so it's gonna just stay on your desk. So what you do next, you take your CPU cooler with this, okay, 
the thermal paste applied and you match screws with these holes here okay one that's another one here third one and fourth and then you just screw them in just like this to the very end to make sure it's secure okay this one's done this one's done too one more this is it let me get in focus here that's that's what i've got here that's how it looks on the bottom cooler is secure and all you have to do now is connect this four pin connector to this cpu header which could be anywhere and usually it's right next to RAM slots, right here. And you can route that cable any way you want. Like you can, you can make a few knots to make it shorter and that will be fine. This is it.